politicians also take the blame uh, for this because we get to see usually around campaign the, the slogans to get people off the streets starts and then once elections come closer that conversation just dies mm -hmm. down you know the people are allowed to trade however they want to do um, to trade our politicians also part of yeah. the problem or but, are they the bigger problem yes that's why I'm saying it's cruelty Cruelty. Yes, it's cruelty because using those people to vote for us mm. and uh, they are on the street and we are busy promoting, you know, you can be on the street because I want a vote. Mm -hmm. That is cruelty. We should look at our people. Those people, they are our brothers, as I've, I've said already. They are our own people. They are Zambians. Why should we use them to subject them to those conditions? It's not right. It's not correct. If we want them to, they, they will also vote. You know, what we also look at, you know, we, we should not only looking at the street vendors. Mm -hmm. We are looking for other business houses as well. These also are voters, isn't it? Mm -hmm. People working in the banks, people working in the malls, the residents themselves who go to town, they are all voters. So we should not look at uh, one part of the, of the issue. We should look at both. Yeah. How do we please our residents? How do we please our business houses in the city? Mm. Do we please them by allowing people <laughs> lining merchandise in front of their shops? Mm. You are both dis they, you know, disadvantaging the, the business houses. Yeah. The vendors as well, they are disadvantaged. All Everybody is not happy. So we cannot just dwell on pleasing the vendors without pleasing the other people. We have to put them together and make sure that even these business, business houses, when I was in a mayor, they used to assist. They used to help us. When we tell them we are doing ABC, can you help us? They used to help us because they were also happy. Mm -hmm. they, were, they, they were being looked after. But now it's very difficult to go to the bank to say that aisle in the, you know, aisle in the Cairo, Cairo Road. Mm -hmm. can, you, uh, can you get it and uh, plant grass? And uh, they will refuse. True. They will refuse. Absolutely. Now, I, I would also like to get um, this from you. Has the political inf interference stained um, the local government, uh, which being the LCC? Uh, you know, we are talking about prof 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 professionalism at the same time, isn't it? Yeah. People are professionals. They can't, so we take them as being a professionals. Prof professionals must also do their duties. The town clerk and his directors, the planners, what are they doing? How are they planning the city without planning markets? Mm -hmm. uh, how are you planning residential areas without planning a school, a clinic, uh, a market? So that these people, once they are built, you know, they have houses there, mm -hmm. they are discouraged from coming to town because all the facilities are there. But we have not done that. You can see maybe Chalala. It's Chalala, just like is there a market in Chalala. Are the city I'm not planners seeing one. letting the city down? Yes, they are letting the city down because that is their job, their role. They should not allow people, you know, building along the roads. Mm -hmm. That's what we see now. So the council has got a big role to do in a city. They are, we know, we say sustained, sustainable cities. Mm -hmm. They have that program. What are they sustaining if they are not looking after the residents? happy with where Lusaka is? No, I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't even to, if, if today. It, it's, you know, the way the, there's a lot of anarchy, people building anyhow. Mm -hmm. No, the, 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 the whole town is distorted. You know, look at this uh, um, Airtel booth. Yes. All over, not even, it's very unattractive. Our city at the moment, it's a very unattractive. It, it doesn't look like it's a capital city. Mm -hmm. Lusaka is a capital city. Those people at the council there, that's what they should do, think about. The, our officers at the council, mm -hmm. they should have time, go around the city and they look at how the city is. This Lusaka is no longer the Lusaka that we knew.